Hey everybody, this is Pam from Nana's Crafting Cottage. And I decided to get just a small bit of resin flowers that I really don't use in these colors anymore. I mean, I've gone in a totally different direction. And I know that uh, Tim Holtz alcohol inks can change these. Um, I've been playing here. This was a real red, and I put um, gin, uh, espresso on it. In this one, I put sienna on it, and it was kind of a light orange, uh, kind of an ice cream sickle orange. So anyway, I thought I'd have you guys come along and see if I can pass or fail on this. It's messy, so I do have gloves. I have good covering here. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I thought, well, let's, let's give this a go. So I think I will try teak wood on this one. This is Tim Holtz teak wood alcohol ink. Um, I had only gotten like the cheaper brands to start with. Not happy with them. Um, and so I thought, okay, well, I have to expand my Tim Holtz library of alcohol inks. So I'm just kind of, I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing, but I know what I want to accomplish. And that is to get these colored so that I can use them in my projects. Let's see. And like I said, it's a messy job, but somebody's got to do it, right? <laughs> okay. And the fortunate thing is these dry really fast. That's the fortunate thing. And I found these um, sponge-like Q-tip things in my stash don't know why I got them. I don't know where I got them from. <laughs> I don't recall. Um, but I, I was looking for my big set of Q-tips that are all the way from, you know, finger size down to little teeny ones. But it's in a different, I put it in a different place when I moved back into my craft room. But that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, that's teak wood. I don't know if you can see it very well. It's kind of pretty. So, I will let that one rest and dry. Okay. Now, I'm trying to get colors um, on here that are, that these colors are difficult to, you know, cover, get covered. It's kind of hard. To, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, hopefully you can decipher my ramblings this morning. So this is lettuce. And this is a pink and white one. And if I can just get that pink and white like out of here, that would be so nice. Um, we'll see. We'll see what lettuce does. I didn't know what colors would cover better on others, so we'll see. Don't know, don't know, don't know. But yeah, it's, it's a messy job. But if you have your gloves on and you have good covering on your table, then it should be a breeze, right? Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I haven't done uh, alcohol inking for a while and I've been wanting to do it to these resin pieces that I have not touched for ages. Ages and ages. And um, yeah, so that's kind of interesting. Kind of an interesting color. Okay, that's that's all right. Let me grab a tissue here. It kind of sop, 
my mess up here a little bit. Okay. Don't want to get alcohol ink all over my bottles, but I'm bound to do that at some point. Okay. Now, um, let's try, um, let's see, where's my mushroom? Mushroom, mushroom, here's my mushroom. Okay, let's try mushroom. See what it has to offer on this white one. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Let's see if it can cover. Oh, it makes it kind of gray. That's kind of cool. Yeah, because mushroom is kind of kind of a grayish color. Okay, I'm going to put some more on there and then just let it sit. Yeah, I'll just let it sit and brew and stew. Oh, let's see. Oh, there's my little one. <laughs> Sticking to my fingers. Let's see. Let's try a latte on one of these green ones here. How about that? Put this away. I like this color. Um, and then I had ordered some more and I didn't realize I had it already because I was wanting to get as many alcohol ink sets as I could. And yeah, so some of the colors I have two and three of, which that's all right. If I use them a lot, like this one, that will come in handy. Okay, yeah, this one turned that minty green into kind of a greenish brown kind of pretty kind of antique looking that's basically why i wanted to color these so that i can use them in my vintage projects at some point now this is stream it's a blue so I don't know. I think I'll try this yellow one. What do you think? We're out for experimenting. Why not? Ooh. And it's a beautiful color. I like it. It's a darker, like a dark turquoise. It's really pretty. We'll see what it does on this yellow and white flower. If it covers it, I'm just going to be like, yay. I don't care if they're still shiny or what. It, it was just mainly the color that I just couldn't couldn't deal with anymore. So I think I'll spread this around by hand. Yeah, there we go. Get good and messy. Oh, that's kind of pretty. It kind of shows the yellow a little bit. Kind of a yellowish turquoise that's pretty oh wow i like that i like that a lot i think i'll try this other yellow one Ooh, that's really pretty i don't take much time to experiment like a lot of you guys um because i don't really have a lot of time to do it and i want to get down to the nitty-gritty and the projects and stuff so I thought this morning why not and I'm gonna put the I'm filming it today Monday but I'm gonna put it up on my usual day Tuesday so that'll be up the day after Labor Day my husband had to make it do an errand so at the home improvement place so I thought why not oh that is so pretty that's a really pretty green Ooh, I was hoping it'd be a green wow so cool so cool I want to get all the spots here I'm a perfectionist I want to get all the little all the little nooks and crannies here 
Holly, that is so pretty. I love these. And I do have parchment paper down, so they're not going to stick, even if they dry setting on the bottom here, you know, setting on the bottom part, it's not going to stick to the paper. Yeah. Okay. There. Yeah, I like those. I like those a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Golly, it's already dry. It's just sticky. From all the ink on there. <laughs> These are cheapy Dollar Tree gloves. So, um, yeah. They aren't... They aren't the best thing to be wearing, but it covers my fingers, and that's all I really care about. So, yeah. I'm scooting away here, aren't I? Okay, guess not. And the pink. What? Let's see. Let me try ginger on there. Ginger is kind of a mm, kind of a reddish brown, I guess. Is what you want to call it. I don't know if anything is going to cover up this bright, shiny pink. Well, that's, that's kind of pretty. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll keep going with it. Why not? And I can always put more on if I want. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay. All right. And I was trying to get enough colors out that I could try each each color on something just for kicks and giggles. And what have I not tried? Let's see, I've done that. Oh, butterscotch. We got to try butterscotch. Um, let's try the green. I love this color. And I think I have a couple of them, thankfully. It's a really neat brownish tan. Well, it looks like butterscotch. Okay. There we go. Hmm. That's interesting. Kind of a pretty color too. I like that. All right. Yeah, these things I can use in my projects a whole lot easier. Um, okay. Let's see, caramel. Let's try caramel on this purple one, just just for the heck of it. And I think I have two or three of these too. I had used one up already, and so I got more some time back, just for the sheer purpose of getting around to doing this. So I have a whole little um, plastic, you know, plastic drawer full of these that I just don't use anymore. And yeah, so it's like, well, I'm going to hang on to them. When I saw, I saw Tim Holt's video on his alcohol inks, and I thought, oh, well, that'd be just the ticket to try and do. These are getting so messy. There it is. Pretty. I like how it covers. It covers so neat. It's not solid or anything. It's just, um, yeah, it just kind of, I don't know how to describe it. Okay, and this one's kind of messy, isn't it? Oh, well. Oh, well. Um, I think I've 
Have I used all my color? Oh, I haven't used, I don't think I've used espresso yet. Let's try that on this red one, just for the heck of it. While we're experimenting. It doesn't seem to matter what color you use with any other color. It comes out to its own, comes out its own way. I don't know if this is going to be able to cover this red shiny thing or not. Hmm. Kind of, kind of metallic looking on the flower itself. Okay. Let's see. Let's try another sienna. Let's try it on that purple glitzy one. This is the reddish type color. Why not? Let's see if it'll do anything to this, if it makes it worse or better or what. Never know. Okay, just rub it all over. These are easy to do. Easy to, oh, don't drop on my pants, no. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it kind of toned it down quite a bit. I'm happy with that. I can use that. Definitely. Yeah, let go. Okay. Well, we're getting there. I really like these brown looking ones here. These are really, really kind of cool. Okay. Let's try sepia on the... I don't think I've used this one yet. I thought I did. I guess not. Let's try it on this minty green one. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I like that. I can do it one-handed so I don't get too many irons in the fire here. Kind of get in there. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that brownish. It's and it comes out antique looking, and that's what I've been wanting to use, but haven't had any to use. There are all these, so you can see the difference, you know, these brighter colors against what I've used on these pieces. And they were bright, if not brighter, than these. So, let me try lettuce on one of these little, these are different texture. And even if it just darkens them up a bit, that's fine with me. Oh. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Yeah, that came out pretty. Kind of a, I don't know what, what you would call that. It came out really cool. I would definitely use that. Now I think I'll try that same color lettuce on this blue. Just for the heck of it, see if it does anything like the other one. Okay. Oops. Yeah, it's a greenish color too, just a little bit deeper green. That's awesome. Okay. Hopefully these are not leaking. I think I'm just sweating in them. <laughs> I hope not. I don't want to have inky fingers. I probably will anyway, but 
I think it's just the coolness from it being wet. Okay. The good thing is this, this stuff dries really fast. So, but I will just leave these when I'm done and check on them later. How about we do butterscotch on this little, little tiny minty green one. Yeah, I was hoping to even just darken these guys up, which it does. There's the little guy right there. Right there. <laughs> Inky fingers. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I like that color too. All of them, I, I really, really like. Now, what should I do on the last bright blue one? Should I try the stream color again? I think I will. Since we're experimenting, this is kind of a flat, you know, uh, bright blue. It just needs to be darkened. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, it looks like a dark turquoise. Oop. There we go. Right there. Pretty. Yay! I'm happy with these. I'm very happy. Very, very happy. I may, on these uh, silver or shiny ones, I'll probably go over again with maybe a different color. I don't know. Um, but when they're dry, then I can tell better what's going on with them. Because they would be harder to cover, I'm sure. Yeah, see, oh, those are real good gloves, aren't they? They just fall apart. <laughs> okay, guys. We experimented. And, um, yeah, I'm happy with the outcome. And uh, hopefully you guys get a chance to get a chance to experiment as well on your own time. Um, but yeah, here they are. Kind of cool. Kind of hard to get. There we go. Get the right light there. So I hope you enjoyed this. I had fun. <laughs> so hopefully you guys give it a go and uh, let me know what you come up with. If you come up with anything, you know, that you really, really like or colors or anything okay so you guys have a wonderful day and i will see all of you again on saturday bye guys